In holy baptism, our gracious Heavenly Father liberates us from sin and death by joining us to the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are born children of a fallen humanity. In the waters of baptism, we are reborn children of God and inheritors of eternal life. By water and the Holy Spirit, we are made members of the church, which is the body of Christ. As we live with Him and with His people, we grow in faith, love, and obedience to the will of God. Who presents this child for baptism? We present Graham Christopher to receive the sacrament of holy baptism. In Christian love, you have presented this child for holy baptism. You should therefore faithfully bring him to the services of God's house and teach him to the, Lord, the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments. As he grows in years, you should place in his hands the Holy Scriptures and provide for his instruction in the Christian faith, that living in the covenant of his baptism and in communion with the church, he may lead a godly life until the day of Jesus Christ. Do you promise to fulfill these obligations? We do. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right to give our thanks to Christ. Holy God, mighty Lord, gracious Father, we give you thanks for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters and you created the heavens and the earth. By the gift of water you nourish and sustain us in all living things. By the waters of the flood, you condemn the wicked and save those you had chosen, Noah and his family. You led Israel by a pillar of cloud and fire through the sea, out of slavery and into freedom of the promised land. In the water of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John, anointed with the Spirit. By the baptism of his own death and resurrection, your beloved son has set us free from the bondage to sin and death and has opened the way to the joy and freedom of everlasting life. He made water a sign of the kingdom and of cleansing and rebirth. In obedience to his command, we make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Pour out your Holy Spirit so that Graham, who is baptized here today, may be given new life. Wash away this, his sins and by this cleansing water, bring him forth as an inheritor to the glorious kingdom. To you be given praise and honor and worship through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, in the unity with the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. I ask you to profess your faith, the faith of Jesus Christ, and to reject sin and confess the faith of the church, the faith in which we baptize. So I ask uh, parents and sponsors and all those up here today, do you renounce all the forces of evil, the devil, and all his empty promises? We do. And I ask all of you as the gathered people of God, do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He descended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. You believe in God the Holy Spirit. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body.
God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you thanks for freeing your sons and daughters from the power of sin and for raising them up to new life through this holy sacrament. We pray that you would pour out your Holy Spirit upon Grand Christopher, the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence. Amen. Grand Christopher, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked by the cross of Christ forever. Amen. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. O God, the giver of life, look with kindness upon the parents of Graham. Let them rejo ever rejoice in the gift you have given them. Make them teachers and examples of righteousness for Graham. Strengthen them in their own baptism so they may share eternally with their son of the salvation that you have given them through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Through baptism, God has made this new brother members of the priesthood we all share in Christ Jesus, that we may proclaim the praise of God and bear his creative and redeeming <coughs> word to all the world. Now all, we, we welcome you to the Lord's family to receive you as a fellow member of the body of Christ, children of the same heavenly Father, and workers with us in the kingdom of God.